Okay, so let's take a look at uh, lesson number three here, question number one, where it says solving quadratic equations by factoring. So the solution to a quadratic equation is where we're looking to find here is we're looking at finding roots. Okay, so a root is a solution to what the expression such that it's going to equal a specific number. So right now we're looking at multiplying two values together Okay, where one value is, is denoted as x plus 2, and the second value is denoted as x minus 7. And when we multiply them together, we're going to get a, a equal to 0. Okay, so what that implies is that means that as long as one of those numbers is equal to 0, the entire expression is equal will be equal to 0, because 0 times any number um, is equal to 0. So what we can do is we're going to set up the equation. We can set up two possible cases. We can say x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 7 is equal to 0. So in this case we'll generate two answers um, for x which will work in either case to, to give us a value of 0. To, so to solve this all we're doing is we're going to subtract 2 on both sides. So the equation just rearranges itself to be x is equal to negative 2 or in this case here we add 7 plus 7 to both sides to, to remove the negative 7 which means x is equal to 7. Okay so either of these solutions minus 2 or plus 7 will work when we substitute them in to the original equation for x because one of those numbers is going to create a 0 um, in, that, in, in that expression. Okay, so just to do as an example here, I'll just put it on the side just to kind of prove it to yourself. If x is equal to negative 2, we're going to say negative 2 plus 2 times negative 2 minus 7. Okay, does that equal 0? Okay, that's our question mark. Well, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. Now, we don't really need to worry about that number because 0 times negative 9 is equal to 0. Therefore, that solution x minus 2 is correct. Okay, so that's how question A would work. Question B is exactly the same thing except they just have a number 3 in front of it, but the number 3 really doesn't make a difference because um, it's still going to be 3 times 0, whatever the number creates a 0 in that bracket, which will still end up being a product um, that gives us 0 overall. Um, so B will work exactly the same as A. And when you get to question C, okay, question C is in a different form. It's not in the factored form. So to do this question, you have to be um, comfortable at getting or factoring the expression. Okay, so this is where you need to go back and look at your factoring skills in where you take um, a, th a trinomial or a three-term expression like this and you break it down into the product of two binomials so that it looks like that. Okay, so right off what we want to start to do is we know we need to have an x squared. So that is a 1x squared. So x squared is just simply the product of x times x. So you put the two variables in the first position. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to find two factors that we multiply to give us a negative 28 and add to give us a negative 3. Okay, so we're looking to multiply two numbers to give us negative 28, but we're wanting to have the sum of those factors to give us negative 3. Okay, so you think about all the factors that work for 28. Well, you've got 2 times 14, but no matter how we add or subtract 2 and a 14, we're, there's no way for us to get a, a difference of 3. But what could work is 7 and 4, okay? Because 7 and 4 will give us um, 28. Okay, now we need a negative 28. So that means one of these numbers is going to have to be negative. But we also want to have a difference of 3. So we do know that if we made, tried this out, if we put minus 7 and plus 4, Okay, negative 7 times plus 4 is negative 28. And then negative 7x plus 4x will give us negative 3x. So that's the factored expression that works. Okay, and then all we have to do is solve for the roots. So just like we did in A, we can say x minus 7 is equal to 0. Or x plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, we're going to add 7 to both sides. So x is equal to 7. That's our solution for one case. 
and here we're going to subtract negative 4, so x is equal to negative 4. So there's our two expressions, or our two solutions, x is equal to 7 and x is equal to negative 4. That will satisfy that quadratic equation and make that whole thing equal to 0. Okay, so that's how you get going on these two types of questions. Um, so go back and check the other two, b and d. Um, and then the questions get a little bit harder as you go forward because they, the factoring gets a little bit more involved. So you can, I'll give some other examples of those on another video.